Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology once again. And today I am delighted once again on the day of Akshay Tritya to have Janet on our with us on our channel. So today she is going to enlighten us about Ayurveda and basics, and she is also going to link that with. astrology and the doshas and so many other things you were just showing me the ppt i was too excited to see what's there inside so and she's also uh, involved in some uh, work with udemy yes udemy.com as we all know so she will also be sharing about that and the stage is all yours welcome to exotic astrology and thank you so you can go on and the link to her channel she also has a channel that i will pin it in the description so please go and subscribe to her channel okay so namaste please the screen is yours <laughs> okay well thank you baba ji and this is such a wonderful um day and i am very honored to be on your channel i watch it all the time i am a avid fan of yours <laughs> so i'm very honored to be here and today I'm, we're going to be talking about ayurveda as baba ji said i have a channel on youtube Uh, it's called Your Mercury Messenger but you can find it under my name which is Janet Perez and I also happen to be have been uh teaching on udemy.com and I have uh four classes I have Ayurveda Basics which is I'm going to start to present a little bit to you here uh today and also um I have a three part Vedic astrology a very basics course of course I'm not at the high caliber as Baba Ji <laughs> but you know, combining a little bit of basics so today what i plan on doing is i plan on talking about very basic in case you're not very familiar with ayurveda it's about um how ayurveda what's the difference between it and then the elements which is very it sounds basic but if you understand the very the elemental it's almost like jyotisha you you want these advanced techniques but yet you always have to bring it back down to basics is if you understand all of this your health will be better your lifestyle will be better and so uh whenever you're ready to get started yeah so, very much okay, so, waiting great so i'm going to go ahead and share the screen here yes 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 okay so let's start here and we're going to get into a little bit of what so what is the difference between ayurveda and anything else ayurveda um So let's say let's just say say western path, uh allopathic medicine is just emphasizes on your body. Okay so what they're going to give you for as a remedy is going to be a pill and after some time the pills and all the chemical effects are going to start to weigh you down. And then we have Chinese medicine which is another uh good medicine but it only emphasizes on the energetic and the body. But yet Ayurveda brings a whole another component so it's very holistic because it takes into account that you have karma that you have a spiritual side to you that we are all aligned with nature and that there is there is something higher than ourselves which is very subtle okay so ayurveda asks you to have uh, to use your right brain okay so it so you, you it's not just very uh, logical it's you have to kind of get in tune with nature so it's a little bit higher learning and it also states that we're all interconnected so the, what does that mean that means that when you step outside of your house you're going to be in nature is it drafty is it windy is it hot are you living in the desert are you living in in the tropical zone you that is going to affect you you're not disconnected from nature so if we want to start out with some of the elements what are the five elements so you have everybody knows about the four elements so you have uh uh ether and you have air fire water and earth so ether and so these elements are also and as I'm going to explain each one in more detail I say so air what does it do so air moves you okay so air moves 80% of all of the diseases pretty much are caused by too much movement okay So your mind you're constantly thinking and that's what meditation meditation slows you down. So in order to remedy anything having to do with movement, you're going to want to do the opposite. And air is light as opposed to earth is heavy 
Air is fast, it moves fast. And I explain the elements before I get into the doshas because it has something to do. So air is fast, okay? So when you have air and vata in your speech, and remember, Mercury is about communication, air, you have a very, very uh, strong Mercury, you're gonna talk really fast. You have Mercury in the second house, boom, you're gonna shoot it out. My sister is one of them. She has Mercury in the second house, she cannot stop talking and is fast. And, is, and then air is sharp. Okay, so as opposed to water is soothing, it's really nice and smooth. And so what is the, air, the element of fire? Okay, so fire is hot. The sun is hot. Mars is hot. It penetrates. It gets deep. And it has the ability to be able to transform you. Okay, so it, when you eat food, think about your stomach. Okay, so the vastu, which is also the Indian feng shui, think about your entire body as your home. Okay, so when you go and cook, you go into the kitchen. Where's the kitchen in your body? Yep, it's in the stomach, right? Oh, yes. So, yeah, so fire is going to transform you, and fire is also sharp. Okay, it's, it's, it's like a knife. Mars cuts you. Kritika, right? <laughs> and then and today, we have water. The moon is in Kritika also. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, today. Okay, so then we have water. So think about foods that have water in them as opposed to something that's light. So a Rice Krispie, I'm just saying these in here in America, rice cereals, cereals are light. They're full of air as opposed to a fruit. A fruit is heavier because it's full of water. Citrus fruit is heavier. Oh. Water flows instead of air, okay? And then water is changeable. So a person that has a watery nature you know, they're going to be able to go with the flow. So Jup oh. Jupiter, uh-huh. So Jupiter has a little bit of the quality of, 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 of the, in the moon, okay? So moon is, is basically the signifier for rasa, the juice, the ojas, the fountain of youth. The more water you have in your body, the younger you're going to look. So kafu folks, that's why they have that beautiful texture to their skin because they have more water as opposed to when you start to dry out, then you get more of those wrinkles. Okay? okay. And then the most important thing about water is that water is sticky. So remember that even emotionally, if you're speaking about water and if it's out of balance, you're going to have a sticky nature you're going to be more emotionally attached. Think about a piece of tape. Uh, so tape, which I have here in my desk. Uh. <laughs> All right. If, if tape doesn't have moisture in it, it's not going to stick. It's not going to do its function. Yeah. Leave out this tape outside in the sun. It's going to dry it out. Okay. It's not going to okay. stick. Water, fire together. Yes, exactly. So now think about earth. So earth is heavy. Try to move and shovel a, a little bit of dirt. You're going to feel it. By the end of the day, you're going to be so exhausted. So, so when your body is earthy, you're not going to want to move like a, like a light vata airy body, okay? okay. But in the quality, so everything has good, it's solid, okay? It's not, it's not porous, like the, the bones are porous, okay? Because they have a lot of air in them. That's why they're light, but they're strong. So it has a little bit of uh, earth and, and air. And then uh, earth is very stable, so an earthy person, a very kapha person, you're going to be able to count on them. They'll be there for you. They'll be your best friend. Other than, you know, the vata, the airy person, they're, they're all over. Yeah, 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 I'll call you. And then they, they're like, they never call you. <laughs> so think of this when you're thinking about relationships as well, right? And then we have earth is unmovable. So the quality is, is good because it's stable. You can count on it in, in terms of vastu, in terms of the space, then you, you, wanna, an, you, know, you want your house built on earth. You don't want it built on stilts when you're in the air. It's not going to be a stable home. Any little wind comes, it's going to top it over. But yet, on the other hand, on the other spectrum, a, uh, you're not going to be able to change the mind of a, a very earthy person. So that's why you have like Taurus is very related to earth. It's very fixed. It's a fixed earth sign. That's the most fixed. So if you're thinking in terms of, of, uh, of Jyotisha, 